right guys i'm playing fortnite on my samsung galaxy z fold 5 the bluetooth gamepad that this is on is called the bs dash d3 uh, it's a bluetooth controller it's the one with the flashing buttons um i'm actually using a dualsense uh gamepad it's uh the ps5 gamepad and um yeah it's, it's all functioning through bluetooth uh the laptop in the back is the, my msi radar it's the ge67 hx gaming laptop it's got an Intel i7 12800HX, 16 cores, 24 threads. It's got eight efficiency cores, eight performance cores. And um, what else can I say about it? Uh, it's got three terabytes SSD. It's got uh, two M.2 slots. So in one slot, it's got the actual, uh, let me run away from this dude before he sees me. Oh, there's someone right there. Oh, he's trying to block me. Damn it, man. Boom. <laughs> His own person is. <laughs> ah, nice one. His own dude sabotaged him. Oh, ah, so weird. Right, so for what I'm saying, so for what I'm saying is like, I, um, okay, the laptop also has three terabytes SSD um i'm trying to think of other things this laptop would have right now i've got to build because i don't know where people are at right now oh, wait this guy's gonna break this you kind of have that feeling about people right i've got a sniper oh no don't want this right um so the things about my laptop it's got two m.2 slots in one slot it's got a 2280 which is a long ssd with one terabyte ssd uh, it's one terabyte the other m.2 slot is um it's got uh, the 2230 which has got the which has got the two terabyte ssd and uh yeah so so um trying to think of this right the other thing is called it's got a still series keyboard the keyboard itself is called uh, the RGB lighting that I'm using is actually the, it's actually the, it's called Disco, the RGB lighting. And, um, wait, where'd this guy go? Right, uh, it's called RGB lighting and, uh, uh, sorry, it's called Disco. <laughs> I'm saying RGB. Uh, it's called Disco. Um, the keyboard itself at the front of the laptop, my laptop, because it's a flagship from 2022. It's got the LED uh, lights, which means it's got, um, it's actually using uh, RGB, also called Disco. Uh, so, uh, the other things about the laptop, it's got a 240 hertz, it's got a 15 inch, 15 inch, 240 hertz OLED display. Um, oh wow, this, this dude almost got me. Right, it's got a 15 inch OLED, 240 hertz, um qhd display so the display itself supports 1440p gaming 1080p and of course uh, like i told you guys just for the sake of it i do not like using the 1440p or the 1080p because i feel like it does decrease the performance of the laptop itself so i actually use 1366 by 768 uh ppi or whatever you want to call that's the pc resolution and why do i do that because it actually gives me higher frame rates right for example when i play call of duty 3 modern warfare on my laptop i do actually get 60 fps and i'm playing this on ultra if i play my call of duty 3 modern warfare on uh, 4040p i would not get the same performance Basically, I would never get the same performance and this is why I find it uh, Just easier that I would just um, that I would actually oh my not this man <laughs> Right, I find it I find it easier because I get a higher frame rate So I use 1366 by 768 PC resolution on my laptop. I can use 1440p if I want to I can use 1080p I do not want to do that. I use um, for I use 768, uh, sorry, 1366 by 768, and that's what I'm using. Uh, so in terms of, um, 
games that I play, I always play games on very high graphics settings. Uh, Grey Zone Warfare, I actually play that on high graphics settings. I did state that I felt medium was good, but it also depends solely on uh, what um, graphics you prefer in a game. Like, I do prefer my games to look good. I mean, this is depending on whether you like graphics or gameplay. When I say gameplay, I'm mostly talking about FPS. So it's not it's not really like saying you can't play games. You can, but uh, I just prefer I just prefer having um, you know I prefer having like the better the well sorry I prefer performance, but I do like the graphics. You know I like I like it when a game looks good. Especially because I record a lot of videos on my laptop when I make a lot of games I do like to record and I like the games to look good So there's no point for me to record a video. That's not going to be at least uh, Enticing for people to want to watch, you know, what I mean and I do watch my own videos So I like I like it when I when I view things and I'm like wow this looks good, you know I like doing comparisons as well. So that's why I'm saying I, I do prefer I do prefer this, you know, like, I don't get this. I'm, I keep pinpointing these people and no one, nobody is, is even trying to shoot them. Wow. They, they, they came to me. They're like, ah, okay. You see, they're wondering, like, how are people finding them? And little do they know that I was there doing my thing. Right. So I, I want a place where I can camp. I'm going to try to go here. It looks like a high point, like a nest. Can I run up here? Oh, wow. So check this out. So it's actually in here where, where everything is going down. Right. So let me gun down this dude. Right, I'm going to have to kneel. Because if you kneel, most of the time you will get better results. Right. Um, like I was saying before, what do I prefer to play uh, in terms of uh, games? what 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 is my go-to game if 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 it was if it was that um what is the game that i like to play the most i mean what what system would i prefer to play on i think i said it much i do prefer to play <laughs> look at this <laughs> right i do i do prefer i do prefer the samsung yeah uh the samsung because of this i i get to use the dual sense controller I can also sit quite a distance away from the screen without actually having to be too close to the to the screen of the phone. Um, the fact that the phone has a bigger screen uh, benefits as well, and I, I just feel like it's it's a benefit to me. I do prefer it this way anyway. I, I just prefer having I prefer having it this way because the way I have it all set up, right? It's like it is at a distance. I'm not holding the phone. Um, I'm just using a dual sense controller to play the game. And uh, of course, at some point, I was leaning in more to play the game. Oh, uh, wow, well, someone's shooting. I was leaning in more to play the game, basically. I don't know what this fire thing is. Right, what does that fire do? Does it make you run faster or something? Or jump higher? Is that what these people are using to jump? Right, so what I'm saying is I, I feel like um, I feel like um, I I'll say I'll say it this way. Right, let me let me come back into this. I I feel it's a single shot five elimination match. I don't know what that is. Right, uh, I feel like the um, I feel like the Samsung would win if if I was going to talk like what do I prefer playing on? Uh, the Samsung would win. Why would it win? Because to me, um, it's it's the one that I would like to use um, for gaming. And why why would I choose the Samsung to play games on? I'll, I'll tell you my reasons. It's portable. The phone sits on this BS. Dash D3 Bluetooth gamepad. I can use my DualSense controller to play games. I don't have to hold the phone. There's a distance between the phone and the tripod. And uh, obviously, I'm holding the DualSense controller here just to show you guys that I do use this to play games. 
Um, the other game that I want to play, and I do want to play it at some point today, is uh, I want to play Warzone Mobile. That is one of my favorite games on Samsung as well. So it's not just about Fortnite, but because Fortnite had an update, you know, um, the update was since yesterday. Because what happened yesterday is uh, there was a big update that came to Fortnite. And it's a mobile version. The update was like 14.5 or 14.9 gigabytes, uh, which took a long time to download. Well, not long, but you know what I mean? It was quite a lengthy download. After I downloaded the game, uh, I found out that when I went into settings, uh, the game was looking all, well, a bit downgraded, right? So I didn't understand. I was like, why would it ask for 14.9 or 14.5 gigabyte to install an update and then uh, give me these weird visuals? Because usually, like I told you last time, if you download in Fortnite for the first time, it does give you the option of SD or HD. SD is just the standard uh, version of the game. And then HD is a high definition uh, version of the game. But this time it asks for 14.9 gigabyte. It's a big download. So I downloaded that close to 15 gigabyte, right? For just for phone. And then my friend was asking me, oh, I've got a little storage. What do I do? I said, don't download, delete your apps or your games. Just uh, if you've got uh, videos and, and not actual photos, but videos on your phone. Like you said, oh, I take a lot of videos. Delete those videos if they're not important to you. Like, I don't know what videos it's got, but I said to him, as long as those videos are not important, delete them. And you will find that you get storage and he got his storage back and he downloaded his game and i updated mine uh i don't know which what he had to download because i already had the game i've had this game on my uh samsung for quite a while so basically i i didn't know much about it you understand uh so what has happened now what has happened now is the the fact that um what has happened now is, is a factor that um, I'm trying to remember what I wanted to say. Okay, what has happened now is is the factor that... I don't know what's happening with this. It keeps on connecting, but it's not doing much. Right, so what has happened now is that it asked for a big download. I downloaded it. I, no, I updated it. Sorry, I didn't download. I updated it. So I've updated it to 14.9 gigabytes, close to 15 gigabytes. It's done its thing. Uh, it starts playing the game. It didn't work properly, so I had to uninstall the entire game, unfortunately, and then reinstall it with a 14.9. I think because it had all the data and stuff from previous games, which it did. And then when it started playing the game, I noticed it uh, looked downgraded, uh, so I wasn't happy with the graphics. And then uh, the game was playing, and then I noticed that now the game actually allows you to go into settings. I, I need to restart this. I don't know why it's done that. I'm going to go back into Epic launch the game again right so what i'm saying is i noticed that um when the game itself was playing the game the graphics like i said looked downgraded i wasn't happy with the graphics settings i before previously whatever version of uh fortnite you downloaded is what you got like a permanent you know like if it was the standard version you just get the the less uh not so nice fortnite you could up it a bit with 3d resolution but there wasn't much that you could do with the game, you understand? So basically, I I didn't like it the way it looked. So I, I didn't realize that with this version, check, you can uh, go into the graphics, you go into the settings, and in here you can select now the FPS. So I was at 60, I dropped this to 45. I went into auto uh, set the graphics quality, and it actually set the game at epic, not me, it set it automatically. I don't know about your phone, what your phone would do. Uh, 3D resolution was set to 100%, but I was like, I was having a bit of lag on the game and I wasn't happy with how the game looked. So obviously I've had to change that. And um, of course, uh, having, having changed it, what's going on? Why is this thing moving? It's moving on its own. Uh, I'm using a DualSense controller guys. Um, so basically, having not liked the graphics uh, quality, I in the previous past, like I told you, just get a permanent version of the higher definition or the standard uh, uh, definition, depending on what you downloaded. This was in the past. Now, it actually allows you to change the graphics. You understand? So 
so this is why I this is why I actually prefer this version of, of Fortnite and what I'm running this on epic now this version of epic and all this stuff did not exist previously that's why I'm saying if if you watch any of my videos and you compare the quality of graphics for those uh, games that I was actually playing you're going to notice a huge difference in graphics like now this does look like a, a proper I don't know it just it just looks good I'm not saying it didn't look good before before it, it looked good but it was very simple now you can actually look at it and tell it's got a lot of details to it isn't it you can actually tell that it looks good that dude's also going there he wants a car I think ah damn there's only one thing there um I'm one, no no there's two of them all right let me give him his time um i think all he wanted was a car right he wanted a gun turret on his right i'm gonna collect a few items right so basically like i said um like i said i didn't i didn't understand oh my god what happened <laughs> i couldn't jump through that simple thing right uh so like i said um i i didn't understand the the workings of uh this new epic uh this new fortnite game i think this is like a remastered version actually of the game itself uh when i say remastered because it it feels like a, a brand new version of the game i don't like this shotgun i'd rather take that shield thing right i want to do this as quick as possible i mean look at outside I don't know if you know the thing is oh wow, wow. let me let me get a, a vehicle let me get the g-wagon i just want to twist now on the front part what i didn't get nothing isn't that crazy it didn't give me much right so basically what i'm saying is i didn't understand the workings of this um thing uh it says Calls calls in a supply drop nearby. S search the supply drop to reap its rewards. Okay, so this is gonna give me a timer. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's giving me a timer. It says search the supply drop uh, to get your rewards. Uh, wow, I need to do this quickly, man, so I don't die in this game. Right, so I need to search one of those, you know, one of those uh, balloon drop things. So that's what I need to search. I just need to find one. Oh wow! Uh, let me use this. Oh damn! <laughs> what? I didn't even go into that circle thing. It still threw me uh, across. Right. Um. Wait, wait. I I think I found one. Right there you go. See? So it's saying um I need to search this thing, and it will give me some rewards. Oh wow! Oh wow! Wow! Let's 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 do this quickly. Oh wow, okay, let's see let, let's see what it's gonna give me. What gun is this? Oh man, not that thing. Uh, okay, let me I'm gonna drink this uh, shield stuff and I'm gonna drink the second one, then I'm gonna take that one and drink it as well. And see how that goes. Boom! Got that one. Right, I'm gonna get into my vehicle, my G Wagon. Oh wow. Check, check, check. Oh, damn. Ah! <laughs> oh, no! That guy's trying to kill my car. Wait, wait. Hey, he's running away. Why are you running away? Look at that. They're just trying to destroy my vehicle. Look at it. It's, it's a tag team. Boom. Wow, I flew over a house. Wow, that was awesome. That was awesome. I'm running away now. Wait, let's see. Where is that dude? If I can spot where he, he is. Right, there he is. Let me give him some sugar. Let me give you some chocolate, some sugar. Come and take this sugar. No, you don't want any sugar. Right, uh, you need to click downwards on your right uh, thumbstick. So click down, 
like press down and then you change your seats so if you didn't know how to do it now you know how to change seats uh why do you need to do that because that's the only way you're gonna go to the the gun thing and then use the gun to fire no i've not even checked for chess in here every time i come in here it's, it's just for this thing oh wow they, they're selecting it to be in here now right uh let me let me take this sniper thing uh oh wow how do i how do i i want to go up oh damn no i want to go up i want to go up what do i do oh damn it's wrecked the car oh wow it's wrecked the car you see that that's awesome right that is radical that is uh, fantastic uh, right um so um like i was saying before the comparison what do i prefer uh versus if i had a versus like um between my um phone uh steam deck the samsung iphone with the backbone samsung with the dual sense controller or the iphone or uh, with the backbone or the laptop itself like i said i think with the laptop it depends on the game i'm playing if that game requires hardware then obviously laptop will win then so i would rather because i want to play the game with the original graphics i mean i didn't i didn't buy my laptop for it to just sit there and do nothing so you know th that's my reasoning capacity for that you know, I spent X amount, I spent a lot of money on the laptop, so it has to do with something. It can't just sit there and it's just a Samsung affair all the time. I, I said that it's, it would be a Samsung affair only if I required, if I needed, uh, if I needed uh, that, um, I don't know why I selected that gun. It would be a Samsung affair only if I needed, um, Sorry, I'm trying to... I've not been in here before. Uh, okay, so what's down here? That's just weird. Oh, wait, wait. Something here. Check. Can I go down in here? What What happens? Ah, oh, damn. Okay, there's nothing there. That's a pity. Right, it would be a Samsung affair if the game itself... Wow, well, check this out. I'm underneath. It would be a Samsung affair if the game did not require graphical power... And that game is obviously a cloud gaming game or a game that is available on Android. Then I would rather prefer to play games on the uh, on the Samsung. Why? Uh, because it's easier to start a game on the mobile phone than it is on a laptop. Um, I know you're probably thinking, but laptop is better. A laptop is better, yes. But uh, I'm talking about just the stress. You know, getting things going and, and then obviously sitting there. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I always thought having a gaming laptop would make my life easier. That's what I thought. Uh, and, yeah, it has. It has somewhat. It somewhat has done that. But uh, I feel like it's more of an extension than, than, than anything else. Oh, damn. Ah, wow. It's more, to me, it's the, my laptop is more of an extension than uh anything uh that concerns me now why am i saying an extension because i feel like it adds value to my gaming but it doesn't necessarily mean that now that i've got the laptop that the steam deck has no place it's not like that i like i like the steam deck uh because to me it was my first proper gaming handle or gaming pc I won't even call it a gaming handle. I would say it was my first PC. So to me, I I will always look at um, I will always look at the, the uh, Steam Deck as the very first. Um, you know the very very first. Uh, wow! Did I did I get them? Oh wow! Check this out! I leveled up. And I climbed onto all this. I got 1001 XP. Oh, wow. I, dro I drove through it. I got that person. Wow, with a motorbike. Awesome. Right, so to me, the Steam Deck means more than just gaming. It was the very first time when I actually played a game with, with something so tiny that it was comparable to, a, to my PC, to my desktop. You understand? 
So it was something that I could easily compare to my desktop and say the Steam Deck is actually better because it does play games a whole lot better. And my Steam Deck at the time was still on the uh, Steam operating system. It was not yet on Windows like it is now. But I'm not going to say because it's on Windows, it's, it's a deficiency or something. No, I don't think it's a deficiency. I think it has added value and it is something that, that will always be something, you know, it will, it will always be the very, to me, uh, I, it means so much more than just, um, uh, uh, um, you know, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It, it's, it's something that, that helped me to play games, you know, when I couldn't play games. You understand? So when everybody else had, had their gaming laptops and I didn't have nothing, it, it, it's the very first. <laughs> Scars having a hard time trying to kill me. This Steam Deck, to me, I'll tell you something. It, it was my very first time when I had something so small that did all the gaming that I wanted. You know, so it, it has a special place in my heart. It's it's not something that I'm going to say, oh, I've got a gaming laptop now. It means nothing. No, it's not like that. I, I will always see the Steam Deck as the very first uh, gaming PC that, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know what happened there. It's like I couldn't move. Um, it's, it was the very first gaming handheld uh, that I feel that, you know, allowed me to do actual gaming like especially the price you know i bought mine for 350 i've always told my friend this i said mine was a pre-ordered version as well it's not the one that steam eventually released you know mine was a pre-order so i got mine when you had to wait for a steam deck you know so you had to wait for a steam deck you'd order a steam deck and then you'd have to wait for it so mine is a pre-ordered version and that's why I think it holds such a, a special spot, like for me. I mean, it, it, it's, it just was the very first um, thing, a console. If I call it a console or I call it a PC, that actually allowed me to game. I was, and I tell you, the very first game that I, I actually, I will never forget playing, that I actually enjoyed a lot playing was uh, Call of Duty 2 Modern Warfare. Not the three one. The three one is not as good on the LC. I've got the LCD version of Steam Deck, so I'm not going to say it's it's bad or good. It's okay, you know, if, if you don't have anything else and uh, you you just want a game, then yeah, of course. Then um, like you don't you don't have anything else to play on. But I'm not going to say that uh, Steam Deck is bad. I'm not going to say that. I'm all I'm going to say is I feel like the Steam Deck holds a special place for me because it was the very first time when i could actually game and i and i was like everybody else and they were playing games and i was playing games you, you know what i mean it, it just it just had that i, I don't even know how to describe it. it it just gave value um to people like me that wanted to game and couldn't game because we we were on a tight budget you understand what i mean so that's why to me the steam deck will always have a special place oh wow uh <laughs> i'm building but these people are trying to shoot me so i'm not i'm not that i'm not that good at building it's just i've got i've got uh blocks on me and i don't understand man you know i i really enjoy uh this game before you know what the hell why i don't get these people and, and look what happened this person decided to just drop a bomb. I'm like, what is the problem? Let, let's build. If you don't like it, fine. Uh, you can build something that you like. I, I don't understand these people. They're like, oh, no, we can't build here. Why can't we build here? Uh, be, because they, they want to they wanna run around shooting each other and there's nothing else to do. Right, I'm going to give it to someone else because I think someone else can have that uh, thing, that spot. Right, so what I'm trying to say is the Steam Deck to me will always have a special place because to me it was the very first console or PC that allowed me to do actual gaming on the, on, on the go. You understand? So I, I value, I do value the Steam Deck a lot. That's why I said I can't put it, I can't put it down. I can't say, oh, it's, you know, 
it's not a bad console to have it's if look if, if you don't have that kind of money you know like you understand what i mean you, do, you don't have money on you and you're on a tight budget and you just want a game you understand you're not looking for anything fancy you just want something that will play games the steam deck is your best option that's what i think it's the best option And if you ask me why, uh, because where else are you gonna get a um, where else are you gonna gonna get a console or a PC that allows you to use any operating system you want that's portable, has a big screen, and only costs like like now the LCD version, especially the 64. They don't sell the 64 anymore. They sell the 256 gigabyte and the 512 gigabyte. So those ones are going like for $300 and you can also get a refurbished version, which is a second hand, uh, second hand Steam Deck. And you can get that from Steam themselves from their website. And that one only costs like $280. So where are you going to get something that does everything I've just said for $280? And then people say, oh, you can build your own PC. You can build your own PC, but how much does a graphics card cost? Because definitely you're going to start with a crappy graphics card at first. For your desktop eventually you're gonna want those rtx cards and you can't buy them cheap then what you see what i mean you just want a game you don't care what it looks like as long as you can carry it around with you and it plays modern games that's the steam deck there is nothing else that's that's cheap i mean cheap and affordable on a budget that most people do not have money these days and they want something just to play games and something that also allows uh, cloud gaming. Because you can do cloud gaming on Steam operating system. You don't need Windows. And, of course, you can also dual boot. So this is not, this is not to say, like, you're stuck with Steam operating system. You can do dual booting. I used to do it on the micro SD card. So you can actually play your Call of Duty games using a micro SD card for Windows. As long as you've got storage on your SSD and uh, you do your dual boot in that way and you you will maintain steam operating system so whenever you start your steam deck it gives you the option which one do you want do you want the uh, windows or do you want a steam operating system that's it but everything else has to be based um everything else has to be based on um i think it's just the storage capacity that you have on your device so this is this is why i'm saying so this, this is why I'm saying um, it's all dependent on storage. But there is, there is nothing else on the market that I know of that even costs $280 that can do everything that I just said. Unless you're, you're going to buy a phone. <laughs> and then, okay, you want to buy a mobile phone, you want to buy an Android phone. Because an iPhone can't do all that stuff I'm talking about. So you want to buy Android, how much are you going to pay for an Android for that uh, does cloud gaming, mobile gaming? You, you know what I mean? It, it costs money. You don't want to buy a crappy Android phone. I mean, the cheapest phone that I would have bought besides my Galaxy phone would have been maybe a, a Y phone or um, a Xiaomi. Because the Poco, I know Poco is good, the one I've got, but like I told you guys, based on the operating system that it uses means I can't even play Fortnite. I can't download Epic Games. Because of the operating system that it, it has, I cannot do any sort of gaming. You know, you know what I mean? So that sucks, I know, but it's just the truth. You know, I like to tell people uh, the honest truth, like it's not, it's not always it's nice to buy a cheap phone. I, bought, I only paid $180 for my Poco M6 Pro. It's a very good phone. I'm not saying it's bad. But the fact that it doesn't allow me to play Fortnite is a problem. Because I wanted to buy a... Um, I actually wanted to buy the... the What do you call this thing? The backbone with the C... The backbone with the Type-C connection. Solely for... Um, solely for my for my uh for my poco but now i find out that it's it doesn't allow me to play epic i can't play fortnite on it 
that's a big uh, bummer because I wanted to make videos about it. I wanted to say, look, guys, I'm playing this game, yada, 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 you know? Damn, I don't know what to change. Uh, I know I'll get that done again, even if I don't have anything for it. Right, um, so what I'm saying is, um, it, it was, it was, I'm not gonna lie, it was a big letdown because I paid, I only paid $180. It's a brand new phone. $180. It had some ads on it that I didn't like, but um, if you watch the YouTube, you will notice that people do uh, do show you that um, it is possible to remove those ads. So it's not like um, a huge problem. But I've got to say that um, during my entire process uh, of, um, oh, damn, I'm underneath this thing. Oh, what? What happened? Oh, wow. Right. Uh, during my entire process of actually... I'm trying to think of the words. During my entire process of buying the phone, I never checked to find out if it could download um, Fortnite. I know it sounds dumb. Like, why do you need Fortnite everywhere if you've got a Samsung? I just wanted a different feel. I wanted to buy a back phone with Type-C. The Type-C is expensive. It costs like $100. You know, it's not cheap. So I wanted a reason. Like, oh, I'm not just getting this for for uh, Samsung. And the Samsung screen is too big anyway. I can't use the, the Type-C for this. But I could have used it on the Poco, right? So that's my main uh, reasoning capacity. I thought that I would buy um, the Type-C, uh, um, what do you call this? I thought I'd buy the Type-C, um, I thought I'd buy the Type-C connection. Um, sorry, the, the Type-C backbone for the sole purpose of playing it um, with the Poco M, only to discover that the Poco M it does not support the Epic Games app or Fortnite itself, which to me was a major disappointment because, I mean, okay, fine, I bought a cheap phone, but, I mean, I like the phone. I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just saying it was a huge disappointment. You, you understand? Because you're not, you're not aiming for these things to happen like that. So that is why I'm saying um, I would have I would have preferred... To have bought a slightly more expensive phone that would have allowed me to play Fortnite. So that's why I, I keep trying to tell people don't buy cheap things just because they're cheap. Because I mean, it sounds good when you want to buy it. Oh, it's a cheap phone. I'm um, saving money. You're not really saving money if you, if you can't do what you want with it. I mean, it's a good phone. I, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's a bad phone. But I wish. I'm wasting bullets on these things. I need someone. Where people? Besides this place, there must be some other people somewhere else. Look at that. I can actually see someone. Oh, wow. The distance is quite far. Mm, is this the same distance? I know there will be a lot of people in that place uh, fooling around with cars, but I just want to scope and see if there's anything else apart from that location, you know? And I can't seem to find anything else. So people are flocking to this thing, but it's a waste. I mean, all these people are just using cars. I mean, it's a bit pointless. There's no one else around here that you can gun down. Um, okay, fine. So, or you know, you know what I'm thinking? Let me not waste time here. Let me reload this weapon. I, I see something of interest down there. So I'm going to go down there. I don't know if anyone's trying to open that box. Sometimes you go get good stuff. Oh, check this out. I caught them off guard. 
Ah, damn. Wow. Look at that shotgun. And it's golden as well. <laughs> ah, okay, fine. You know what I'll do? Oh, wow. Someone someone already um, opened up that one. I wonder if they found anything in there. What? You see that? It, it lagged for a second and I got shot. <laughs> I mean, I'm still gonna die, but uh, that sucks, man. Right. Um, so, for convenience sake, um, I do prefer to use the Samsung, the one that you see me now for gaming. For convenience sake, like I said, not not for the factors that um, I can't play on the Steam Deck or I can't use the Steam Deck itself. I'll tell you something about my Steam Deck. It is my main PC in my house. I know that's gonna sound strange to a lot of people. Like, what do you mean by PC? It, it is my, it's the main PC in my house. It's just a factor, it's, it's just the truth. Um, I, I use, I use uh, my Steam Deck as the main PC. I've actually got three uh, browsers open right now on the Steam Deck. There's three browsers. I use Firefox, I use uh, Edge browser, and I use Chrome. So all these browsers are open right now as, I, as I'm as i talking. And this is why I like the Steam Deck. It's my main PC. I don't, in fact, I don't even like, um, like what I used to do with my Steam Deck in the past. Like I would, um, like in the past, I would have, um, I would have been gaming on my, my Steam Deck. But like I said, I got the laptop now, so. I don't need to do that. So right now, if I wanted to game on the Steam Deck, I have to shut down those three browsers, which is a pain because every time you shut down a browser, especially like Firefox, it doesn't rem it doesn't have that restore tab thing on it. It's not like Chrome or like Edge because it, at least with Edge, it will say you, you know when you restart your because I normally restart the Steam Deck, so it, it would have an option. It, it would it would have an option whereby it's it would it will ask you when you restart the steam deck like you want to restore the tabs and then it restores everything the way it was but firefox doesn't do that the only thing firefox will do is it's bookmarks as long as you bookmark you star your pages then when you restart your steam deck it will have those bookmarks that's all it does but it's not guaranteed that it's always going to have your tabs so that's that's why I really don't like going through the hassle of playing games on the Steam Deck, knowing that I've got the laptop that can do exactly the same thing. You know, the laptop can do all the gaming. So, I mean, the Steam Deck is there. It's it's not like I don't have it. I have it. It's like I'm saying. It is my main PC. It's right now. If I was to show you what the laptop, the laptop is in the bag. It's doing nothing. But it has a browser open on it, actually, that um, I'm actually, because in order to charge up the phone, I need, I need the laptop to be active. Otherwise, if the laptop is not active, it will turn off. So I have a browser that's open. And I, what I've done is I've just minimized the browser. And that's why I've got, um, I, oh, these snipers are here. That's why I have everything the way that I want to have them. Let's see. Right, so the browser is minimized in the background. And this is the only reason. Oh, I got someone. 140 meters. Right, so what I'm saying is, um, I have um, a browser open on the laptop. And uh, this is the only reason why um, I'm still able to charge up my Oh damn, this sucks. Um, this is the only reason why I'm still able uh, to actually... Uh, this is the only reason why I'm able to actually charge up the phone and uh, obviously to, to have my... I'm actually charging my iPhone 14 Pro Max using the, the laptop itself. So if I didn't have that browser open, then the laptop would go into sleep mode to preserve power. I mean, all laptops do that. I mean, even PCs, if you're not using them, they will eventually go down. 
so yeah, I mean, it, it happens, you know, it goes into sleep mode basically. So what I'm saying is that um, for convenience sake, if I wanted to do quick gaming or even gaming like I'm doing now, because I, I am enjoying myself, the videos are long, they should show you. If I wasn't enjoying the game, I wouldn't be playing for this long, would I? So I enjoy, I enjoy the games. Who's shooting me? What the hell? I wish this game would show you where the people are shooting you from. You know what I mean? I couldn't tell if it was from the, the, the place where I was looking at or from behind. And you know, if you're going to use a sniper, like sniper things here, you, you need to be on a cliff. I've got a sniper weapon on me. So I need to be here, actually, right, like right there. Right, let me collect these things. Uh, right. Right, so there's people over here. Right, so basically what I'm saying is like, um, ah, damn it, man. So what I'm saying is, oh, this is where people are. This is so weird. This is where all the snipers are. Check, ah, I took that guy out, 500 XP. Right, um, so basically, so basically, um, for convenience sake, I prefer playing games on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 with the DualSense controller for convenience sake. As long as the game is exciting uh, and it's a game that I like playing, for example, Fortnite Mobile or the, the Game Pass one, which is a cloud game in the Fortnite from Cloud Gaming, or at, at, in saying that I can actually play any game as long, I can play any game We're close to winning though. I can play any game on the Samsung as long as that game is available, right? If so, if I got Ultimate and the game itself on, on the cloud gaming does support controllers, I can use the DualSense controller. I can do that on the laptop, I can do that on Steam Deck. I can do it on the iPhone because iPhone's got cloud gaming, but I prefer the, the Samsung, why? Uh, obviously, look at the screen, it's big. I flip it open. I connect this via Bluetooth. Look, it's not even showing the button thing, but it is connected. And I start playing any game I want to do. So if I wanted uh, cloud gaming, and then that leaves the Steam Deck to do its own thing, you know? So I'm watching, like I said, I've got three browsers open. They're all showing something different. I'm watching, either watching some videos or I'm watching, uh, you know, I like to see what's up and coming in the future. I like future things. So I'm watching, I, I might not be seeing things, but I, I like uh, sometimes to have the volume on or off. So I could be watching a documentary, you understand? So the Steam Deck in my house is my main PC. That's what I would say. If anyone asks me, what does the Steam Deck do? I'll tell them. My Steam Deck at this moment in time, I don't know if it's gonna show you correctly, but up there, that monitor is running through the Steam Deck. That monitor is running through the Steam Deck. That's the Steam Deck. That keyboard and that mouse is connected to the Steam Deck via a hub. There's a hub in the back. So that is my actual steam deck right there it may not be showing it uh the best way but that's a steam deck i don't know how i can show it like let me i've got a torch see that's a steam deck that's a steam deck you see in all my photos i mean in all my videos that's the steam deck you understand so at this moment in time at this moment in time that steam deck is powering that monitor and that monitor that keyboard that mouse all through that tiny little thing that's why i i favor it that's why i like that's why i like the steam deck that's why i like the steam deck that, that's the truth that's why i like it so for anyone to tell me like oh steam deck's not that good or blah 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 it's it's a lie look at that thing and the steam deck itself is playing a video that's got to tell you something. The Steam Deck is playing its own video. The monitors are each playing a video. Like, okay, they, they're all doing something. That's what, They're not idle. You understand? And that keyboard is flashing for a reason. It's on. It's connected to Steam Deck. So is the mouse. You see? So that's all in all. That's why I keep saying my Steam Deck in my house is my main PC. I don't need a desktop. I don't need anything. Even my laptop is not the main PC. My laptop is, I bought it initially for games and that's what it does. If I want to watch something on it, I will, like a movie or something. But when I want a game, 
it's it will be this laptop that I came on. That's why I bought that uh, cooling pad thing. You see what I mean? So I'm not trying to say anything bad about other people that may have their laptops and stuff. I'm trying to tell you that if you want, my opinion is this, if you want uh, to have something that's value for money, try and buy something old that has a, um, you know, like value for money, try and buy something that's going to give you value for money, you know? Just because it's old doesn't mean it's a bad thing, you know? So that, that's why I try to encourage people, like, even my own friends, I'm like, you know, they're like, oh, I want this laptop. I want to buy the RTX 4060. And I'm like, okay, it's cool. If you got money, fine, you know, do it. But how much does that laptop cost? Uh, it costs 1,000, blah, blah, blah. It's like two grand for that laptop. Like two grand. You, you could easily buy a much cheaper laptop with better performance than the 4070 or 4060. I'm just saying, better performance. 